how to use the SOC to flow graph uh, to predict and where to find the best places to buy Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin. So the stock to flow graph is a, is a chart that tells you what's the current price of Bitcoin and how the price should develop according to this stock to flow model. This model is also using to, is used to calculate um, a gold uh, value. And I'm not going to go into details on how this chart is done, but in this website, digitalic.net slash BTC, you can find how they, they get this formula. What I want to show is how to trade using this thing. Uh, I want to focus first um, in the latest um, period of time, so 2016 to now. So I want to show you this then, and then we go back and compare how it worked before. So first I zoom in, and then I want to use a diff model. This is another model, we don't want to use it. And then we can choose between 10 and 365 days. I like to use the 365 days because it makes, uh, I mean, it's the only way it works for the explanation I'm going to give. All right, so the way this works is this. Uh, we have the Bitcoin price uh, here, price end of the day for these dates. And then we have the stock to flow on, the, on that the same day. And the way I read this is, if the stock to flow is below the stock price, the Bitcoin price, it means that the price is too high, like for example here. And in the other way, if the price is below, it means it's cheap and we should be buying. If the price is above, like here, it's expensive and we should be selling. So how this works? Uh, let's say, uh, if the price is more or less the same, I would say it's not easy to take uh, any conclusions. But for example, if you would have look at this, or if you have Bitcoin here or not, but let's look at this one. Uh, so the stock to flow is below. So this is the time that we have to consider to start selling our Bitcoin. And of course, we never know how to time it. So I can see here uh, that it's going up $749, the price. It's, it's almost $300 more, it's a $300 more, yeah? And then you can see, okay, it's going down, another high here. Uh, so it's going lower lo lower highs, which means that it's kind of in a downtrend, like a bit more lower. And then this is the time that you consider selling if you have it. And then there is this part here that it crosses, you see? The price is now below. So this is the time that you start considering buying. And the optimum time to buy is when you see uh, like the, the trend changing, normally you're going up. So when you start seeing higher lows, and as you, if you consider one of the lows here, 625, and then you look here, okay, 650, it's going up, another low here, more or less. But anyway, if we look the trend it's starting to go up so I would say this is a good price a good price to start buying uh, some people might think okay if it crosses I should buy it. that might work as well but yeah we imagine that we sold here our bitcoins like on you know, the second high 660 and now we are buying at 700 maybe or six it doesn't matter we lost a little bit of that trend but we are in the correct cor correct place to buy so now uh, we see again the trend changing here, like the price is going down, but I would say it's still below the stock to flow. I would not sell it here because we are not in the buying phase, which is always below. And then all the way here, and then we have the cross. So here is when you start thinking to sell. And what's the best time to sell? Well, any time above this line, but what I normally do is I wait for the highest points and then I'll wait for the higher lows. I mean, the, the low is, the higher is getting lower and lower. For example, we had this high here, uh, $19,000. $19, then we have another high here somewhere. Let's see if we find it, 16000 And then we have another high here somewhere. So it's very clear that if you draw a line here, the trend is lower highs. So it means that we are in the downtrend. 
I think you could already check it somewhere here. I would not mind to start selling somewhere here, even if I waited too much and start selling somewhere here. It would still be very profitable if we started to buy 700. It's almost, it's a more than 10x. And then if we start selling all the way here, um, whatever time you did it, doesn't matter, as long as you are start selling after the line crosses. So any time here is a good time to sell. And now the line crosses again and you want to start buying. So, yeah, so now it's at 5,000. I think it's a good price to get in or maybe you think it's too high still. Well, it went down a bit more. And then you start seeing, okay, the low was 3,305. Let's see the next low. 375 which means that the lows are getting higher so this means that the, it's an uptrend forming so with an uptrend forming it's time to buy normally so I, I like to buy when it's uptrending not when it's downtrending for example here if you start forming you start buying but I think the best place is here because it's going up even if you just miss the this part of the uptrend you can still look here and there is an uptrend forming because the lows are getting all the time higher and higher. So if you get in at six five thousand, good good place to buy. It's below the stock to flow. And then again it crosses here, you look at the price again. There was 12k here. Okay, great. Uh what's the next okay, another 12k. So still good time to be but this is the time you start thinking to sell. And then um, okay, now you have lower high, which means we are okay in the downtrend here. Then if you look to the next high, yeah, clearly we are in downtrend. So what you do is you start selling somewhere where you notice the downtrend. Of course, you can sell it on the first tick up, but in this case you would probably lose a bit, but here it would work. Anyway, you sell it, you start selling, you start the thinking of selling. Okay, you, we have been sold all, some of our Bitcoins around 10 and 11k. And now the trend is also, now it crossed somewhere here, but still it went up again. So there is no really conclusion for this. I won't take any moves if it's not like quite more, a bit more drastic like here. Sometimes it's hard to see because this is a daily chart, so you might not uh, see correct. So we have to wait a few more days. Okay, now you can see that it's going below, and this is starting to be a downtrend again. It was a very short one according to the chart, but still an opportunity to buy your Bitcoin. And uh, so 700, 7700, 7300, 7500, 7200. So lower lows, and then 7200, 7300. Okay, now it started to go up, so I think it would be a good time to buy anywhere here unless you just you know like if you are one that buys right after the dip you can also buy here and you probably would have bought already here something and sold here and buy here again anyway uh, what's gonna happen uh, next is a mystery but if we go if we use the same technique up is time to sell down is time to buy we can make some profit but I want to make uh, some um, remark here is when there is the halving year, which is happening somewhere in May here this year. Normally after that, uh, Bitcoin has a tendency to go up. So even if it's higher here, I'll still hold to sell because we are in the rising part that um, the flow is actually, I mean, decreasing, but the stock is increasing a lot. So this is a time that you probably want to hold. And now, as promised, let's go back and see what happened in the beginning. So there was another halving somewhere here in 2012. And there was not so much data, so we cannot read that much. But you can see that in this case it was higher. So it's period of selling, but um, it would be a mistake to sell. And why is that? Because it was the halving effect here until it stabilized here. And if we consider the same approach here, uh, okay, there is no data, so we cannot really read that much. But one of the things you could do is if you have been buying here somewhere and you saw that it's going up and then you start seeing the downtrend here, 
you would think to sell that would be great because you bought it ten dollars and you are selling a hand or somewhere 10x hundred dollars on the downtrend uh, you would miss this part here so this was another 10x if you just use the stock to flow and then but at least uh, if you ever if you didn't sell anything you would get it and then you would see the downtrend here again like the selling period and then another buying period would come here and 250s so you see lower lows lower lows getting high getting high so you probably enter here if you see another low but you start you hold it until you start going to the selling period of the 500 700 so 600 was our selling period before you made a 3x here uh, unfortunately this part here is the part that we would miss if we would always strictly use this chart technique and we would miss one to next so just to make a conclusion in this video um, let's zoom out a bit so when you see halving here like here let's remove the stock to grow so halving here normally it's an uptrend pricing halving here uptrend and halving here we think it will be uptrend and then the same here and that is validated by looking at this last one here this one was also an uptrend so even even if we follow the rule of let's start selling above I would be careful to sell on an uptrend like the on the halving uptrend here here and here so in this one actually it plays very well uh, after this sharp turn we should start thinking selling in this one the sharp turn happened here so actually we would think to sell right uh, when the top came and not on that downtrend line here um, and that's it so we all hope that we will follow the pattern in the future but uh, that's it how to read this chart and um, i hope it uh, helps anyone out there thank you for watching